What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fire, the man, Eric Sheets Haber. We're going to be talking through the Travelers Championship, a uh, little PGA. We haven't done as many videos because I've Wednesdays have been have, have been gone and Sheets was out last week. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about through, through, a little through this one. And it's a, a fun little slate here. We have Justin Thomas is no longer in the field. Um, Dude, it's a crazy time for golf. I mean, like everybody's dropping out. They're going to I mean, people thought this was a joke. Yeah, that this this live thing. But they're 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 people not playing. Yeah, I know it's weird. Um, well, let's 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 pull up your screen and we'll go tier by tier about the people who actually are playing. But uh, even the projections, some of the projections I'm looking at still have JT in there. So yeah, I, I'm going to do an update on that pretty soon. Yeah. Actually, I mean, well, no. actually, not pretty soon. I want to wait for everything to update. Right. Because right. you know it's so weird, and we'll we'll, we'll talk about this. But so, some sites are so lazy that they'll they'll what they'll do is 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 JT will be out and they'll just X him. You know what I mean? And keep everything mm -hmm. else the same. Like without realizing that like him being out affects everybody else's win odds. You know what I mean? Like in all right. this stuff, it's right. just nuts. And no, some sites totally don't mean. even, they, they, they don't even update the ownership. You know what I mean? It's like, so it's, dumb. It's, it's ridiculous. So that's, yeah. that's one of the reasons why, unfortunately, um, I can't exactly automate every, everything that I do when I do these projections because I do have to, to, to deal with it sometimes. Yeah. Um, but okay, let's, uh, let's, let's get going. Um, yeah. I've, I've, I've looked at this a bunch of times for those of you to watch the early preview video. Um, uh, well, I'll, I'll touch on that. And I think it's, uh, I think it's, a, I think it's a cool slate actually. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Um, okay. So let's start off in the top tier sheets. What are you going to do with the above 10 K guys? Yeah. So I originally had just this is this is all a video that I just deleted actually. Um, so this is what I was going to say. I originally at first look had all the 10k and up guys pretty equal, with the exception of Sam Burns, who I had him I had him the weakest. Um, before JT got ruled out, I had JT uh, Cantley and McElroy actually all the same. So so now you have Cantley and McElroy. I have kind of at the top of this. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to kind of give it either a shout out or a caution or whatever it is. As I was building these projections that I have, when I, when I look at all the different sites, I, 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 I've thought about this, whether I should mention it. I think I think I can. Um, so Sabersim is is way heavy on um, on uh, what's the, on Cantley relative to the rest of the industry. Um, and it's, it's kind of being owned or in terms of both like, this projection. And as a result, being owned, you know, let's yeah. talk about both those things. Um, you know, everybody else is like really has him in a tight range, but they have him like clearly like the best golf, like by like, like I had to even like post, are you sure about this? Like, that's what our models say, you know, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, so what ends up happening is that um, he's being affected in my models as well, because I'm giving, you know, I'm giving them kind of like equal weight to some of the others. So if you if you don't believe that Cantlay is 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 a great play, you you can manually adjust down the Cantlay a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing, and just listen, I'm I'm going to keep yelling at Saberson for doing this because I think they all do this. Is when they put a projection of a guy like outside what, what the industry is is usually saying, they're then also up up upping the ownership of that guy which is just not correct you know mm -hmm. like what they're doing is saying okay well these are the projections so we're going to run them and this is how much these guys are going to own but no you, you can't do that because if you're going to come off taking a stand on a guy you can't then just presume everybody's going to tell you you know what i mean mm -hmm. so, so so i just so you guys know so i i currently kind of avoided that that dilemma and i just kind of went with it so I currently have Cantlay's being a overall industry projection ownership of 24%. It's just got to be lower. It just has to be. Um, I'm not sure uh, about that. I don't think it's going to be that much lower, but I think it's going to be lower. Um, yes. So, uh, but then again, I think my projection is too high. So I think that kind of, kind of evens out. So with that said, uh, in the 10K range, I have Cantlay and McElroy pretty much even. Um, and I do like them both. I'm not going to play them both. Um, but uh those would be my top two in the ring yeah I, I i just don't understand why we don't just like scotty scheffler and rory are just like i mean they're rory is just on a ridiculous tear right now scotty scheffler has been on a ridiculous tear for a year um I, I, those are those are clearly the the top two guys for me but i do really like Cantlay as well um 
uh, and you do get some savings obviously on him, but I, I don't know. I, I, I have those three and I'm probably not playing it. The other, I guess it would only be Burns and show uh, Xander. I, I'm not as interested in Burns and, and Xander in this one. I do like, I really, really like the Scheffler Rory can't lay. So I'm probably going to have one of those guys in most of my lineups. Just so you know, by the way, everybody else here knows is that the other guy who was kind of up at the top, who's just who subsequently kind of dropped in my ratings a little bit was Xander. I had Xander rated higher even as early as uh, yesterday. And mm -hmm. he's just kind of dropping. And and this is one of the things that, again, it's, it's a project that probably doesn't make too much sense to do, but it's just always interesting to me about how kind of projection and industry momentum works. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like uh, if, if, if they slowly, their recessions start to go down and down, that, that, that indicates they're a weaker play or something like that. And there's even in golf, it's so many, so many times this has happened. I think two separate times, one I talked about where a guy shows up kind of in my models that I hadn't seen like in a long time. Mm -hmm. And wow, this is kind of strange. I'll play him. He'll do nothing. And then the next week he'll win. You know what I mean? Like it, it's, it's kind of weird like that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so I, I just kind of wonder one of these days, uh, another project that I'm never going to do, but so I see Xander just kind of slowly losing some steam. Um, but I don't see his ownership really losing steam. So he's probably going to be one I avoid. Yeah. What do you, let's jump into the nine Ks. What, what do you like down here? Cause I actually think if I'm going to play one of those guys, it's going to be a little harder for me to squeeze in as many nine K guys here. Um, I don't have, I don't have as big, I think, I think Spieth is going to be fairly popular. I think, I think him is Sungjae is, is interesting. I kind of like the idea of Neiman and Fleetwood, but I'm just staying on brand with those two. So that's, that's what I've got in this range, basically just those two for me. So as, as you might imagine, um, I'm, I'm, I don't like uh, speed. As a matter of fact, he was the guy in the video I made by myself that I picked to miss the cut, which mm -hmm. I'll probably do that today in, in, in this video as well. Um, I actually have him rated the best of the nine Ks. And then I have two guys, um, Keegan Bradley and Finau. But the thing is, is that, is that I see Keegan Bradley getting like 15% ownership and 9,100 um, too. That's and rough. Ended, he was great that's, last that, week, but come on. That's rough. You know, I I would much rather play the similarly priced Finau at 10%, for example, mm -hmm. um, than than Keegan Bradley. So for me, it's him and then and then and then Finau as far as my favorites. And Neiman, um, I have him just below, but I he's just you know he's gonna he's just gonna get owned because he always does and whatever. He's really um, so, good. <laughs> um, what's that? He's really good. I was just because he's really good because he deserves yeah. it. <laughs> um, and uh, so he's fine. And I'm not really getting him any anything else. Oh, you know, one low owned guy. I mean, I talked about this on the other video. One low owned guy that you might want to play is Varner at nine k. Mm -hmm. um, he's just playing pretty well, you know. Mm -hmm. And and uh, at, I have him right now at six and a half percent ownership. Mm -hmm. um, and I would I would definitely take a shot with that in in lineups where you need to have like ownership savings. Yeah. With the price hike and the bad us open, I think that he's, he's definitely going to be low on. So I like yeah. that idea. All right. Let's jump into the, to the 8k range sheets. Who you got as your priorities? Yeah. Like? So this is what I did. So when I first looked at these, I looked at them outside of ownership and then I said, okay, th this guy is like such a great play. There's no way he's not going to be owned. I gotta, we gotta track it. And, and, and not only does the ownership not seem to have picked up, but he's actually moved up the list. I, I don't see a world where Mito Pereira is actually only 11 and a half percent owned. That's like no. where I have him right now. Yeah, no I mean, way. he's, he's going to get pounded. Right. I mean, they always right. people always play him for good reason. Yeah. I have him rated as clearly the best 8K option. Um, and uh, almost to the point where even if he were 13, 14, 15 percent owned, I'd probably, I probably I wouldn't care. Right. Um, if he gets with the 20, I'll probably care. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know what to do about this. So mm -hmm. right now he's clearly the top. The, the, now, where it gets interesting is these other 8Ks. So I, I actually have kind of a pretty well-timed fade uh, in the 8K. Um, I have a guy who I originally liked a little bit, but he's kind of dropped in, the, in projections, kind of dropped in, in the models and dropped in everything, and yet his ownership is still pick, picked up. Um, uh, I see Brian Harmon at like 15% ownership. Um, he's going to be my I'm, – I'm going to fade that. Uh, that's going to be my, my, my fade of the 8Ks. What I am going to do, and this is really scary, is my second best 8K guy is actually Webb Simpson. Um, mm -hmm. He's literally never done anything for me. Um, <laughs> so I don't know why I'm doing it, but but that's the way he looks. 
Uh, then there's Aaron Wise, who I have him ranked very similar to Webb Simpson, but Aaron Wise is another one. I mean, I have him at 12% ownership. They ever, they always play him. Um, yeah. So what I would, what I would advise is I have two other kind of lower owned eight Ks that I would prefer. Um, Keith Mitchell, he's 8,200 and co-crack at eight K. Um, so I would play those as kind of low owned. I, I know if Kenny were here, he would tell me to play Jason day at 8,100. Yeah. Um, and I certainly have no problem with that, but I think that I'd rather play kind of a little lower own like Mitchell or Kokrak or something. Yeah, I, I think we're on similar pages with that part of it. I, I, I like Kokrak here as just because okay. for the ownership side of it, uh, side of things. I think that's a really interesting play. And then he's down at the bottom of the AK. So he's, I, I think that he's going to be very low owned. Um, and I, I, I didn't get to Webb, but I, I do have Mito and Harmon, and I will probably fade wise, even though it sucks to doing this. You know, I, I love to yeah. bet on the young guys, and then they finally start hitting their thing, and then everybody plays them, and it's just, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to, to get away with it. At, yeah, I think wise could end up being like 20% owned. I really yeah. think it's possible. Yep. Um, all right, let's talk about the 7K range. Um, so the 7K range is a guy that's going to be 25% owned, right? So, so, so um, I, I, when I, when I first did my runs of this, I'm like, okay, there's no way this uh, it, that Brandon Steele is going to be only 15. You know what I mean? It's just it's just popping in every freaking every every way from Sunday, and now I see him at 17. I, there's just no possible way. I, I think he's going to be over 20 for sure. Um, he does rate for me to be the top play in this range by good amount. I don't know, decent amount. Um, but what I'm inclined to do again, and this is. It's, 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 it's weird to think that he's going to be that much lower owned, but I have Siwoo Kim close enough yep. to, to Brandon Steele where I'm, I would rather play him at half the ownership. Um, so, you know, when you're playing three max or 20 max or whatever it is in your hand building and you really want to, you know, get a, get a beat on it. I, I would play, I like Siwoo Kim as a play a lot. And then the, the other guys in the seven K range, I want to address one guy who's just not showing up as much as he did a couple of days ago. I originally liked Tringali, but I don't anymore. The two kind of lower owned guys I like in the 7K ranges are Bezaden Hood and Hoagie. And then what's really weird, I go down, I see like these two guys that are I'm getting seeing double digit ownership on that for me don't really do much for me. And that would be Damon and, and McNeely. Um, I mean, I would rather if I'm going to go down to those guys, just play like Aaron Rye at, again, half percent, you know, half the ownership, or whatever. But for me, it's, it's a really about what you do with Brandon Steele um he's just gonna look when i when i did a um i did a saber sim build i did two of them i did one with without any concerns of ownership and one with ownership if when i did my runs with without concerns of ownership in 150 lineups i got 97 percent steel and 93 percent mito like for example you know what i mean mm -hmm. um so so he's gonna show he's just gonna show up and and it's just a question of, of how much you want to fade him and look he's only since you know, it's hashtag baseball, it's hashtag golf. And it's not like he's, you know, he's a $7,700 golfer. You know, he's not like that big of a deal. So, so I have no problem playing Kim or any of these other guys uh, against the 20% plus owned Brendan's team. Yeah, I, I'm on board with you a lot there. Um, I, li I like the Zayden Hoot. I like Steele. Um, I like Brendan Todd. Yep. I know he's going to be pretty popular, um, okay. but I like him. I like Kim, as I already said that, um, the other ones, I, I love Hoagie. Um, I, I very into Hoagie and Rye and Thigala as another low owned option. I also think at 7,300, you could make an argument for Ryan Palmer here at no ownership. And the other ones that stand out at the bottom are Streelman and Lanto Griffin for me. Um, it's so annoying that you like a 7,300 guy because I, I, I was hand building a lineup and I had one, one left and I had, um, 7,300 left. I'm like, damn, I can't play Hoagie because he's 7,400. I can't even play Tringali because he's 7,400. I really don't like anybody. Oh, I like Aaron Rye, but he's 7,400. I wish there was a 7,300 guy to play. And then I went on to think about something else. Uh -huh. So now you bring it up a uh, 7,300 guy. Palmer and List, I think, are both. And List, list. yeah, yeah. At, at 73. Yeah. Um, and I don't mind the, the Lanto at 71. I'm going to pass on my, my nemesis Grillo. And this is probably the tournament that he goes out there in top fives. Right. <laughs> um, all right. What, if anything, are you doing below 7K? I'm not going to do anything, but, but, but just because we're going to talk about the range, um, my favorite of the range would be, I'll just give you two guys, uh, Russell Knox and Lucas Glover. 
I I like Russell Knox. I also like Smotherman a lot. Um, I like Svensson a lot. And you know me, I like to play these 6K guys because I just see over and over again. They hey, somebody up. somebody gets there. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody always it. seems to get there. Um, David Lipsky is another one that popped yeah, up for like me. That. Um, Hank Lebiota at 65 is... Ooh, uh, we haven't heard from him in a while, huh? Yeah, I haven't thought about that one for a while, but I'm going to give it a shot. And then I have a, I have a friend who told me to play Ooh. Chris Gotterup, who I Maybe. literally know nothing okay, about. Okay, so wait a minute. So... I wish I could, you know what, I, I think I deleted the build, but in, in where is this? Hold on. I had one build that I made that I got to that guy. Um, mm -hmm. I have no idea who it was. Um, I think it's the same, like Gut Gutherson or something. Is that what, what's his got name Got Gotterup, okay. like G-O-T-T-E-R-U-P. Okay, maybe. He's, um, he's another one that I had. A oh, no, I was getting, you know who I was getting? I was getting Scott Guchevsky. That's who I was getting. Oh, interesting. No, yeah, but just 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 randomness. You know what I yeah. mean? Like probably because he was 0.65% owned that right. I just got there. You know what I mean? Like right. I do think Rory Sabatini at 6,500. I might make my list if I try to do the double spend up thing. I could I could get to some of these guys. The other one that sort of is weird for me that I that I've had some very very mixed results with some very very good ones and some very very bad ones is uh, Carlos Ortiz. And I, I just, I, I just always am I'm overloaded on the 6k guys. It's fun, always funny that I always mention more guys in the 6k than I do any other range yeah. <laughs> because it's what I'm trying to try to find a way to win a tournament, but that's what I'm doing. Uh, Hayden Buckley is another one I might mix in. Patton Kazire, of course, I have to mention, mention the general because he's is he under 7k. He's seven. He's 6,700. I and, mean, uh, I can already I, feel my lineup building itself. Now, the other one that, that I'm just on the, Hey, keep looking out for these guys. Is Bramlett and Steven Yeager? Uh, I know. Oh, no, here's another. Dude, Matt Wolf is still playing golf. He's Matt 6,800. Wolf, Watch Matt Wolf. Just if Matt, when Matt Wolf wins a tournament, I'm Matt Matt Wolf in another him. universe is like 9,200 in this field. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like he just is. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's had you know some bad 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 rounds, but whatever. Yeah, he's been really bad, but he yes, looks broken. He but yeah. It, let's take a look. Let's, let's, let's just for fun. Get in, why is the projection so bad for Bo Hostler? Oh, I don't know. Let's 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 I'm, see the let's see the wolf. Hold on. I mean, okay, he's got a second and a T five and a T eleven, and then okay, then they had the break, right? So November through January, something happened in two months. Then he got cut. Sixty fourth cut, sixty first cut, 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 twenty fifth. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, not, not, not the best. He's been really, really struggling with it, and not only that, he's been like literally like the leader of the of the guys who don't make the cut with the most, the most over par, um, oh. pretty much all the time. But again, like at some point, I think he could snap out of it, and and he's a guy who can win a tournament. But I, I just, I don't know. He just seems so broken to me right now. Um, so that's that's what I've got in the six K. So let's play the game sheets. Let's go yeah. through it. Who are we playing over ten K? To win the tournament, or I guess I'll, it's, shall, it's tournament. I'll, I'll, I'll throw one out to even 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 though the correct answer is Rory McIlroy, um, I'm I'm gonna throw one out to to Saber Sim. I'll, I'll I'll go with Cam. Okay, and I will go with Scheffler. Yep, that's the other one. Um, all right, let's go with the nine K range. Who's who's your favorite to top five? Top five? Yeah, I will go with um with Tony Finau. Tony Finau. Okay. I wasn't going to play Tony Finau. Now I'm going to have to get a little bit of him. Um, I am going to say, oh, top five is a tough. Yeah. Tough it's call. tough for these guys. Yeah. I, I guess I'm going to say Neiman, yeah, but I'm yeah. tempted to say Fleetwood. Well, we, we presume that Fleetwood is always uh, selected. So, yeah. I'm always going to play Fleetwood some anyway. And if he finally let me like totally busted for me last week again, the U S open, but that's okay. He's going to get there at some point. And he's been really good, actually, other than that. All right, 8K range to top 10. I mean, one of us will, t I mean, I'll take, I'll, I'll go first. I'll, I'll take uh, Mina. All right, that means I get to play my Chileans together again. That's it. Um, and I am going to say, well, he played well last week in, in Harmon. I want to take a weird play, but I don't like the top 10 is for Cobra. Yeah. I like to Cobra more. It makes it hard, 10. right? Yeah, so I think that Harmon is probably my guy. I, I do love Davis Riley's talent. I just I'm just going a little bit different because of uh, I don't know actually why, but I, I think I'm going to go Harmon. All right, seven K range. Who's uh who's going to top twenty? I'll go. I'll go with the guy I said. I go with um 
with uh, Kim. Oh, all right. I love when someone else says, says keep a seat with Kim because it gives me an excuse to play him, and I love playing him. Um, I will take Brendan Todd as my guy. Nice. Under 7K. Sheet, you got to take the somebody. Cut. And it's got to be someone I think that we haven't said yet. So let me, let me see. Van Ruyen is out. Uh, you know what? I'm, 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 you know what? I am going to do it. I am going to go Matthew Wolf. Let's go. I'm going to, I am going to make sure to get a lineup. Whoa. Of substance with Matthew Wolf. I'm going to do okay. it. Okay. I'm going to do it. I have three that I love, Smotherman, Svensson, and I'm going to say Kazire just to stay on brand, but I need nice. Smotherman and Svensson. Nice. As well. um, Smotherman, and I got to put Svensson on there. Okay. Who do you, who's under 10K that's not going to make the I mean, who's over 9K that's not going to make the cut? Over 9K not to make the cut. This is like the only thing I get right every week. I'm going to go – We. I'm, I, well, what's up with Brooks? <laughs> He's out. He's out. Okay. Guys, I'm like, what? He's out. He's in the live. He's, he, he's going to live. Yeah, I know. It's weird. I've got him on my, on my screen here, but um, I am going to say to miss the cut, Keegan Bradley. And I'll go speak. All right. I like it. All right. Well, that's golf for this week, guys. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not going to, if I can get back in time, I will try to update my core plays for golf and I will be in mm -hmm. discord and I'll check my phone to, to try and touch base on all the baseball stuff today. So Let's have a big week. Let's have a fun weekend sweat and good luck to everybody. I'm going to update the, the, the projections with Thomas out. Uh, you know, we got, we got plenty of time. Um, I'll do it sometime tonight. And, uh, and uh, I will, I will, I will be there live with in Bobby's uh, absence uh, this evening. Thank you very much. All right. Good luck, everybody. I'll see you guys soon. Right, see you.